There we go. That'll be 47.50, sir. Oh, one second. Here you go. Um, sir, you're missing 10 cents. Now, you have to understand one thing about Scorpion. He's fucking crazy. Um, sir? That's it! I challenge you to Mortal Kombat! What? You heard me, penis wrinkle. I challenge you to Mortal Kombat. You're in the store? Yes. But, look at you. You're in peak physical performance. You'll kick my ass. Well, I'm not worried at all. Now get over here! Scorpion wins. Round two. Round two. I don't think he's getting up. Now, Scorpion's an interesting character. He seems to challenge everyone in Mortal Kombat. Hey, who ate the last box of cookies? I'm looking in your direction, Scorpion. You always blame me for this kind of crap, Raiden. That's it. Mortal Kombat. That's what you always say when something doesn't agree with you, Scorpion. Why the heck do you challenge people in Mortal Kombat anyway? Because Mortal Kombat is the ultimate test of skill, speed, strength, and power. And you get to kick people's asses, and that's always cool. Can't complain with that. Hey, what's going on? We ate all the cookies. That's what we're trying to figure out. Did you ask Scorpion that he's challenging you to Mortal Kombat? Yeah. How many people have you challenged to Mortal Kombat anyway? Well... I challenge you to Mortal Kombat! I challenge you to Mortal Kombat! I challenge you to Mortal Kombat! Meow. Almost everyone except the guy down the street and most of the guys on 60 seconds. Why the guys on 60 seconds? Because what they say confuses me. Okay, the kitten was pretty low. But the blind guy and the old lady, come on. I know, you think they'd offer more of a challenge. Both down in the first round. You wonder where the cops are when this is going on. Okay, I bet you 50 bucks you can't go a whole day without challenging someone to Mortal Kombat. Ha! Easiest 50 bucks I ever made. I accept your weak ass bet. Helpline? I think I'm going crazy. It's been a whole five minutes I haven't challenged someone to Mortal Kombat and I think I'm gonna explode! Hello? Hello? Fucker! Hey, how's the whole no Mortal Kombat thing going? Horrible. I mean, it feels like I lost a part of me and- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You suck. What? I challenge you ah, to- Can't say it, can you? <laughs> I'm gonna milk this for all it's worth, man. I slept with your mother, and she was bad. And your sister too, man. Man, I just got on top of her and I was like- uh... And he was all like, I slept with your mom and- A wise man once said, words are nothing more than empty expressions, floating in a sea of deeper meanings. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Fuck, now I'm just confused. You're stupid. I challenge you to- Hey, how's the bet going? Fuck. Um, not bad. I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Ah, good. Because Sub-Zero is paying Scorpion sucks all over your room. I'll kill that bastard! How long do you think you will last? Probably till supper. Either that or have a nervous breakdown. Whatever comes first. Just five more minutes. Hey, Scorpion. I got a whole new list of insults for you. Ahem. If I had a dollar for every brain you didn't have, I'd have one dollar. You're stupid. You smell bad. Just two. More minutes? Your mother again, and it was hot. And that's why your mother sold you a birth. <laughs> Ow. What the fuck? Brayden said nothing about hitting you. Man, lighten up. 
You did it, Scorpion. I'm impressed. So what have you learned? Give me my fucking money. I challenge you to Mortal Kombat! Now on Fox, the real Doop! Die, you ugly! Wait, don't shoot! Can't we settle our differences in a non-violent manner? You pose a very interesting argument. You see, so many times we teach in our society that it is easier to solve our problems with violence than with words. If everyone just took the time to talk to each other, the world would be a better place. Ha, sucker! You got owned! Man, all these shows based on video games are so stupid. I know. You think people who produce these things could use a little more originality. Oh, hey Sub-Zero. And hello, Sub-Zero's drunken date. Hey, she's not drunk. We just went out for a movie and some drinks. Well, the movie part didn't really happen. But anyway, we're going to my room. Maybe you should wait for her to sober up first. But we're both, you know, in the mood. Number one, I really didn't want to know that. Number two, you're technically taking advantage of her in this state. You could go to jail. Um, uh, yeah. Quick to my room! At least you tried, man. I'd just really hate to beat her when she wakes up tomorrow and sees Sub-Zero lying next to her. And people wonder why the suicide rate's so high in North America. Who the fuck could that be? Party. Oh hey, it's... Goro. Hey, party animals. We haven't seen you since that big kager last year. God, that was such an awesome party, man. Like when Liu Kang passed out and we tied him in duct tape and we left him out in the front lawn. You guys, I really, really need to go to the bathroom. Guys. Yeah, we got that fucker good. So, what are you doing here exactly? I heard you guys were having this wicked house party. House party? We're not having a house party. You are now, bitches! Where the hell did all these people come from? Acquaintances, friends, and random people off the street. Hey man, is this the address on the flyer? Well, we wanted to spread the word. Check out the quality of these flyers. But still, there is no house party. I have to admit, these are really nice flyers. Oh baby, you make me so hot. You're so sexy. Oh baby. Uh, baby? Shit. Raiden, I did something, and I don't know how to fix it. What else could possibly be worse than what's happening right now? Um, you know that girl? I kind of accidentally froze her. Accidentally? How'd you pull that off? Well, whenever I get nervous, it's kind of like a defense mechanism. Well, how do we unfreeze her? Shouldn't they, like, unfreeze themselves? Generally, when you used to freeze people, they usually defrosted themselves. The places we always had Mortal Kombat were always hot. So, they just kind of melted. Well, usually I'd like to do this amazing combo technique, and it would break the ice. But, that would, um, you know, kill her. Oh. Shit. That wouldn't be good. So what's the plan now? I don't know. This is usually where you come up with the ideas. Okay. There's some blow dryers in the bathroom. Scorpion, watch it for a sec. I challenge you to Mortal Kombat! So in theory, this should work. Hey, where's the girl? Wasn't Scorpion supposed to be watching her? SCORPION! 
You were supposed to be watching the Frozen Girl. Well, I was, but these really hot chicks came up to me and asked me to dance with them. What would you do in that situation? God, Scorpion. Okay. Just get all these people out of here. They're trashing the house. I got the perfect plan. I challenge you to Mortal Kombat! At least Scorpion is good for something after all. Yeah. With any luck, we'll have the house cleared out in an hour. True. But what about the Frozen Girl? We still have to find her. Do you actually know her name? It's Katie or Kathy. Someone with a C. So you don't actually know it. No. No, I don't. By any chance, are you looking for a girl in an ice cube? Yeah. Where'd you find her? She's in the kitchen, keeping people's beers cold. To the kitchen! So now that we're here, any ideas how to defrost her? There's an ancient legend of a hot spring on Mount Poontang that's supposed to thaw out the coldest of hearts. Can't we just stick her in the bathtub with some warm water? Yeah, that would work too. Okay, let me get into the bathtub. Man, this place is trashed. Yeah, and Goro is passed out on the couch. Goro, get up, Goro! Man, um, what man am I hung over? Hung over? I only saw you with one beer all night, you pussy. It's true, I'm a lightweight. Wow, so it is a myth the bigger you are, the more alcohol you can take. Myth's bit. He's a fucking pussy! Well, we better get to work and clean up this place. Cleaning up this place? Forget that. I'm out of here. Oh, no you're not. That's it. You pissed me off for the last time. I told you to Mortal Kombat! Um... Okay. Well, the girl is unfrozen now. She's fine. But she seemed kind of pissed off. She stormed out. But would you be happy if you were frozen all night? Um, good point. Guys, I don't think you want to go in the bathroom. There seems to be this weird green smelly stuff all over the floors and walls. And the toilet's overflowing. I know the perfect man for the job. How come I have to pick up this crap? Because we spent the whole night cleaning up your mess? Ew. I think someone had too many nachos. And now, a public service announcement. Hi, I'm Ian Moray. And I'm Mike Reeves. We've been receiving a lot of mail from our viewers. But specifically, angry parents. It seems that a lot of people think our cartoons promote violence. And that actually challenging people to Mortal Kombat is wrong. So we're going to teach you the right and wrong ways to challenge someone to Mortal Kombat. Situation number one. You're on a date with someone. Do you A, compliment them on how great they look, or B, challenge them to Mortal Kombat? We all know the answer is B. Um, Ian, I don't think B is the right answer. Come on, the other person could have totally deserved it. What if they were a cheap date? Still... Unappropriate, Ian. Bastard. Situation number two. Somebody hands you a glass of water with a fly in it. Do you A. Say thank you and take the fly out, or B. Do you challenge them to Mortal Kombat? Challenge them to Mortal Kombat, of course. Ian, it's just a fly. It's totally disrespect. Ian, you're not helping. Now we're going to get nasty letters from parents. Again. I like cookies. Well, in short, when challenging someone to Mortal Kombat, use your best judgment. Matt Damon! Okay. Whatever, Ian. Enjoy the show. Scorpion, what do you do all day? Well, I drink. Then maybe eat a little bit. Then maybe take a nap in the middle of the afternoon. That doesn't seem pretty productive. I do productive things in the day. Picking random fights with people isn't productive. 
When you see random fights with people, I see problem solving. Problem solving? I think you actually create more problems than you solve. You see, the problem is that they're assholes, and by kicking their asses, I solve this problem. It's a pretty simple system. You know, they serve three square meals a day in jail. Scorpion, there's a bunch of guys at the door for you. Are you Scorpion? Yeah. What do you want? So you're the asshole who keeps leaving nasty letters and toilet paper in our house. Why do you suspect it's me? Because you signed the letter. Man, that's like a whole new level of stupidity. That's not the point. Now you have disrespect at our honors. In all fairness, your video games are pretty much the same. Honor is something I think you're lacking. Yeah, prove it. Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 2 Turbo? I think they were even the same character animations from the first Street Fighter game. Uh... Now that you're here, I challenge you to... Um... I challenge... You... I think I forgot my line. How could you forget it? It's pretty much the only line you ever say. SHUT UP! You anger us with your stupidity. Our house challenges your house to... STREET FIGHTER! Even the logo is better. We'll see you on the street. We're going to beat those old bad men. Your mother is going to beat it. Look what you did now, Scorpion. It's not my fault. What are you talking about? This is all your fault. You toilet paper their house. You guys blame everything on me. Like the cookies from the first episode? That wasn't me. Then who was it? Man, these are awesome cookies. As hypothetical as that is, it seems pretty unlikely. You see? Guilty till proven innocent. Let's just get this done with. So you pussies finally showed up! Yeah, so how are we gonna do this? In the most stereotypical fight scene fashion. You mean the red background with the white streaks going by? Yeah, pretty much. Let's do it! No, it can't end like this! You're right! Ugh. Wow. You got really good timing. Well, I figured I had to make it up to you guys after the party. So what are we gonna do with them now? Probably send them back to Capcom. It's almost like asking to make more Street Fighter games. Well, it's better than dealing with them. So let's get to it. So everything worked out fine in the end. Well, I learned my lesson. Don't fuck with Capcom. Because big guys will come and kick your ass. Scorpion, there's somebody else to see you at the door. I'm looking for Scorpion. Ah, fuck.